All right, so here I have a 18-inch uh, uh, OD pipe, and it's a uh, one-inch thick. And then I've also created a uh, an eight-inch hole, so that way I can attach up an eight-inch pipe. But it's on a uh, saddle shape. Once I cut through that, if I look straight down from the very top, you can see it's completely uh, a circle just extruded through there. So two simple pieces of geometry. But the problem I have is uh, when I try and create a chamfer on this edge, you can kind of see how it rolls around the side face of that. And so uh, it doesn't create a very concentric uh, center or concentric looking chamfer. So in this case, the, uh, the customer doesn't like that. So what the customer does like is I've got a little uh, uh, picture of what he wants. He wants uh, about an eighth of an inch on the bottom edge of this. That's going to be a straight shot. And then uh, 33 degrees, so if he wants to weld to it or put something on there, he can, he can do that. So i got two dimensions I need to uh, take care of. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and sketch on the side face of this. Just draw out a circle and put a dimension on it between those. And we'll make that an eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do uh, some surface work. So I'm going to extrude a sur uh, surface and flip that back. Now there's other ways I could do it. I could have done this with a uh, split curve. But I'm going to do this with three uh, 3D sketches. So that way I'm not actually splitting the faces. Every once in a while you'll have some issues where when you split the face and you try and do a surface cut, uh, it won't do it. So in this case I'm going to start a 3D sketch. So a 3D sketch is for the most part just going to be an intersection curve. So I'm going to convert entities drop down, click on that. And I'm going to select the side face of that and my surface there. I'll say OK. Now I get a nice little uh, curve there. Alright, so that's half of it. I'll go ahead and turn off my surface body. The other half is from the uh, the top view. I want to make sure that that stays nice and concentric. Uh, but to do that, I'm going to have to sketch, put the little 2D sketch out here. So let me go ahead and uh, finish out of my 3D sketch. And we'll sketch on the right side plane, just a regular 2D sketch. I'll go into a section view here. This will kind of help me see what I'm, what I'm doing. Uh, so I have my curve coming through here. And I'm just going to draw up a, uh, a triangle out here in space somewhere. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and constrain it. I'm select on that endpoint. Hold down control and select on that curve. We'll make a pierce relationship. And then I know that the height of this is going to be 1 inch minus 0.125. And I know the angle of this is supposed to be 33. So this kind of gives me my cut. Now, I could do a swept cut, and that usually will work. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do something a little bit different and give me a little bit more of a straight uh, straight curve. So what I'm going to do is hop out of that sketch. And then I'm going to create a new sketch on the top plane. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the uh, original cut sketch. So I'm going to show that. For the most part, just so that when I draw my circle out here, I have a center point to go to. So that looks pretty good. Then all I have to do is use the end point of that triangle, hold down control and select on the circle, and we'll make those coincident. So that way if the angle changes, then this circle is going to get larger as well. And that's all I'm really using that sketch for. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little cleanup. We'll turn off some of these sketches. And I'll do the same thing. We'll do a uh, surface extrude. That goes up past that. That's fine. Create a 3D sketch. And on the 3D sketch, we'll do an intersection curve again. And this will be between the cylindrical surface here and the cylindrical face here. We'll then hop out of the 3D sketch. Go ahead and turn our surface body off. And so now I pretty much have two 3D curves. Uh, one controlled with a side view, one on the top going up. And now we just need a loft between them. Now I'm going to usually, I usually do this as a surface loft. And occasionally these little end connectors, you may have to drag them around, get them as straight as possible. So you got straight line wall segments coming up here. And once you get that where you want, uh, we'll finish out of the sketch. See our little surface loft in here. Go ahead and hop out of the uh, section view. 
I'm going to turn my solid body off and a lot of times I will go ahead and extend the surface. We'll extend it on both sides, the top and the bottom. That'll give us a little bit of extra room uh, when we slice through that the skin of the solid. Sometimes it's not necessary, but sometimes it is. So I usually do it just in case. So we'll go ahead and turn our solid body back on. You can kind of see our surface kind of extruding our uh, lofted past that. And then we're just going to do a uh, cut with a surface. Make sure that the solid is unselected. So we'll cut with surface, select on the surface itself. Uh, make sure the arrow is going to the inside. That's the direction that you're going to uh, remove. And we'll just hit OK. So now you can see that the surface and the uh, solid now have the exact same little edge there, the same face. So we'll go ahead and turn off our surface, just hide it. And now I've got a nice concentric eighth of an inch thick uh, straight wall segment there. And then it goes out to a nice looking uh, chamfer. And with that, you should be ready to go to production. Thanks.